Welcome to San Diego, Point Loma Marina, a scorching August day. And I wanted to demonstrate to you today the, in my opinion, the second most useful knot that you need to know on your boat. The first most useful is the bowline, or bowline as we pronounce it. Look for my YouTube video on how to tie a bowline. But today we're gonna do the round turn and two half hitches. This is a really fantastic knot. With this knot, you can tie up a boat, a horse, a truck, a kid. That was just a joke, don't do that. Um, you can do edit, you can tie anything up, and the beauty of this knot is you can tie the knot when the rope is under load, which you can't do with the bowline. You can't tie a bowline when it's under load, okay? So let me demonstrate how we actually tie it, and then I'll show you some practical applications. So, for demonstration purposes, this is the bit of the rope that's tied to your boat or your horse or your truck. And we're using this cleat on the dock for demonstration purposes. I know that you know that we normally wrap around the cleat, okay? But this is just for demonstration of the round turn and two half hitches. This is our bitter end, our running end. So we come around, you can see there's a support here on the, on the cleat. We come around, there is our round turn. And our half hitches are very simple. They come over, there's one, and then keeping the rope going in the same direction, we come back over again, and come round, there's two. And that rope is held. It can be done under load, and I'll demonstrate that in a moment. It can also be undone under load, which you cannot do with a bowling. So we undo it, and uh, as I take the pressure off, here it comes. Okay, so let's show you that one more time. So here we come, we're tying up our boat or our horse or our kid. Okay, we come around. There's your round turn. There's one half hitch, continuing the rope in the same direction. There's the second half hitch, tied. So here we are, we'll do a practical demonstration of the round turn and two half hitches using my own boat. We're demonstrating that you can do this knot while it's under load. And to provide the load, we have my electric trolling motor is running, as you can see, providing at least 40 pounds of thrust. But actually, joking aside, you can see that the stern line I have set up here right now is under load. And my plan is that I'm gonna tie the knot with my four spring and demonstrate to you how I can then take the load off my stern line and hold it on the spring whilst I'm tying the knot. So here's our setup. As you can see, the stern line is under load from the trolling motor. This line is gonna be my four spring and I'm gonna make it up around the cleat here uh, and take the load off the uh, stern line. Okay, so the four spring has a load on it now from the trolling motor. I come around the cleat. Obviously, I know you wanna do your figures of eight. This is just for demonstration purposes. We come around the cleat with the full turn, and then we do the first half hitch, keeping the rope going in the same direction. We do the second half hitch, and the boat is holed, and the round turn and two half hitches is complete. To untie, obviously the reverse process. And notice here as the second half hitch comes undone, as long as I keep some tension on the tail of the rope, I can still hold the boat against the round turn. And I can actually ease it forward a couple inches here against the trolling motor just to demonstrate that I still have control of the boat with the rope under load, and then I can reform the knot. So that's the round turn and two half hitches, the second most useful knot you'll ever use. So thanks for watching guys, and remember you can find me at my website royalnavyyachtmaster.com where you can hire me to come out with you for expert in-person coaching on your own boat. I focus on the areas that cause you the most anxiety, which I know is docking and undocking, as well as the collision rules that you need to know every minute that you're out there on the water. Thanks again for watching, we'll see you out there.